Over the years, multiple professional comics have declared a run for the oath as a president, but so far none of them have had much success. In this video, we are going to look at non-comedians who ran for president. Number 1. Ron White Ron White is best known for his stand-up comedy and the Blue Collar Comedy Tour, but decided to switch his focus to politics with an announcement that he was running in the 2016 presidential election. While many assumed it was a joke, he was dead serious. He became interested in running after watching one of the many Republican Party primary debates. He was focused on battling the methamphetamine problem and was interested in improving the care of veterans and U.S. soldiers. Number 2. Stephen Colbert Stephen Colbert announced his bid to become the next president of the United States in the 2008 election. He launched his campaign because that's what his fans wanted, but when it came time to pay the $35,000 fee to enter the Republican primary, he didn't and focused more on the Democratic ticket. Number 3. Dick Gregory Dick Gregory was a pioneering comedian who rose to prominence in the 1960s. He was the first African-American comic to cross over to white audiences, which helped his career expand through television spots and the release of comedy record albums. Although Gregory was primarily a comedian, he was also active in the civil rights movement and protested the Vietnam War. In 1967, he launched a candidacy to become the mayor of Chicago, but this campaign didn't work out. It elevated his prominence as a potential candidate, though. In 1968, he shifted his focus to more national matters by running for presidency. He managed just over 47,000 votes and was a legitimate competitor to Nixon. He left politics and got more involved with activism and wrote a book about his candidacy called Write Me In. Number 4. Roseanne Barr Roseanne announced she was running for president of the United States in the 2012 election. Her announcement came on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno where she said she would run on a party she created called the Green Tea Party. Her party platform revolved around medication, personal health, and economics. She filled with the Federal Election Commission for the Green Party, but lost in her party's nomination to Jill Stein, coming in second place. Number 5. Doug Stanhope Throughout his career, Doug Stanhope has made a name for himself with his comedian career, but he wasn't just a comedian, he's also a political activist with anti-government views. When the 2008 presidential election was on the horizon, he announced his candidacy to the Libertarian Party ticket. Stan Hope's campaign never came to life and he was never a serious contender for any party's ticket. He still remains outspoken on the issues and it's all about candidates who are pro-choice and drugs. Number 6. Gracie Allen While the United States has yet to elect a woman for president, there have been many throughout history who ran as either the president or vice president. Gracie Allen was one of them who tried. At first, she was a comedian who became famous thanks to her radio program where she portrayed a goofy sidekick alongside her husband, George Burns. Though it was never serious, she launched her candidacy to become the President of the United States with her husband set as her running mate. Her campaign slogan was Down With Common Sense and the couple toured the country putting on shows. Number 7. Pat Paulson Pat Polson was a well-known comedian actor who made appearances on the Smother Brothers. The idea of running for president came from the network and he launched a campaign for the 1968 presidential election. Although he wasn't really serious, he addressed some serious issues. In 1992, he ran on the Republican ticket but finished second in the primaries to George Bush having only received 10,984 votes. He showed up on the ticket again in 1996 where he garnered 921 votes, second to Bill Clinton's 76,754 votes. Number 8. Will Rogers In 1928, Will Rogers launched a mock political campaign for presidency. He did this because of his belief that campaigning was bunk. He ran as the bunkless candidate of the anti-bunk party, and the only platform he used to discuss his campaign was a weekly humor magazine called Life. He promised people if he was elected, he would resign. That's kind of funny if you ask me. Number 9. Ben Glebe 
Ben Glebe is one of those comics who makes it hard to tell if he's being serious or not because of his sarcastic writing style. For years, he has focused his stand-up on political issues, and he's even worked around politics, having reported for KPCC during the 2008 Republican National Convention. His career in comedy took off in 2014 when Esquire named him of the six comedians who could be comedy's next big things and part of a bumper crop of brilliant new alt comics. In May of 2019, he announced he would be running for president in the 2020 elections on his Twitter page, and he was serious. Despite being a potential candidate in the 2020 election, he hasn't been taken seriously by the media at all. Thank you for watching. If you like this video and want to see more videos like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel, turn on the notification bell, and leave a like. Peace.